We're going to talk about vertical angles. So vertical angles. Vertical angles are created when two lines intersect. So if you guys think of the intersection, you think of the intersection of roads, right? So the intersection of roads means the two roads are going to what? Cross, right? So they cross. So you obviously know parallel lines never cross, right? But perpendicular lines do, and they form a 90 degree angle. But that's another story. So anyways, let's draw a line. And then let's draw another line. Then let's do it again. Do it again. Okay? So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I have two intersecting lines. And each one of these lines, you can see that they come have a vertex or a intersection point. Okay? So vertical lines are two created when two lines intersect. They share a vertex and do not share any sides. OK? So let's think about that. They have to share a vertex. So bam, I created two angles, right? Or I created, I intersected two lines. Bam, vertical angles are created. But now, ladies and gentlemen, so therefore, using my definition, out of all these angles that were created out of this intersection line, which two angles would you say are now going to apply your definition of vertical? Meaning they share a common vertex, but do they do not share any points? Robert, why don't you give it a shot? Why don't you give it a shot? Do you hear my question? You want me to repeat it? OK, I'll repeat the question. We formed vertical lines, right? or we formed two intersecting lines. Two lines intersected. We formed four different angles. right? The definition says vertical angles are created when two lines intersect. They share a vertex and do not share any sides. So what two angles out of here do not share any sides? Uh, one, and one and three. Guess what? Angle one and angle three are vertical angles. Good job. Ding, 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 ding. Anybody want to find the other pair? Yeah? You guys are too smart. Very good. Do you guys see how angles 2 and 4 and 1 and 3 have the same vertex A, but they don't share any sides? Does that make sense, Hannah? Does it? Hannah, I'm going to ask you another question. Hannah, this one has a vertex, right? Now, assuming that you, listen, let's call these two angles A and B, all right? Measure of angle A and measure of angle B. Looking at those measures, and let's call these two angles C and D, OK? Measure of angle C and measure of angle D. Would you say that C and D are vertical angles? No. OK. What? C and D. They're vertical because they share the same vertex. Do they share the same side? No, if they did share the same side, though, then they would be adjacent. And actually, even to put it on top of there, let's look at two and three. Do two and three share the same side? Yeah. Yes. Are they formed from, from opposite rays? Yeah. So two and three are what? A linear, they are adjacent, and they're also a linear pair, right? Just a little FYI, you didn't have to know it. We're talking about vertical angles. But anyways, what I want to talk about, Hannah, you have C and D, right? Those are vertical angles. They're across from each other of the intersection. They share a common point. They don't share any sides. A and B, those are vertical angles. Share a common point, do not share any sides. Now, Hannah, if you were going to look at that, what two angles would you say would probably be close to equal in measure? If you're going to pick out of these, the measure of angle A, B, D, B, or C, what would you say kind of looks like it's the same, um, same measurement? OK, I'll make it easier. Angle C. Angle C is closely, more closely measured to A, D, or B. What would you say? What would, see this measurement. OK, I guess we haven't talked to go through on the measurement. 
But the measurement of angle C, all right? See the measurement from, from angle to angle. The distance between your rays, OK? This distance from here to here, is that the same for A, D, or B? OK, is from here to here the same distance as from here to here? No, that's not the same. This is much wider, right? Is from here to here the same distance as from about here to here? Yes. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. And I know we haven't talked so much more about measurements. But what I want, I want you guys to understand about vertical angles is the measurement of vertical angles is equal. All right? So what I was trying to tell you is if this is 30 degrees, right? If I say the measurement of this angle is 30 degrees, what would you say the measurement of this is? 30 degrees. OK? Yes? Well, I'm making a video. Yeah. Sure. Got to write the question. First you interrupt me.